Greetings, everyone. I have uh, believe I've acquired enough resources now to begin building this coil. And I will be documenting the whole process. So let's begin. As you can see here, I've got quite a bit of uh, resources I'll need. First thing you'll need are these rings. I'm sure most people recognize them from baby toys. This is what we'll be making the coil out of. It's a perfect torus. And as you can see, it has this uh, little bump on it right here. So I had to use some sandpaper to sand that down so it would be smooth. So sandpaper is needed for these. I want to ensure everything is precise, measured, and smooth. Here's my diagram. This is the, uh, the vortex math behind this coil. And I have a glue gun here, which I will need for my measurements in this protractor. What I'll do is I'll just take a tiny little dab of glue and glue this onto this uh, torus here so I can get precise measurements. And what I'll be measuring is uh, every 10 degrees I'll be inserting one of these pins, which I have uh, several of here. And I'll be arranging them in a uh, color coordinated pattern so I know the correct windings to make. And then once I have measured this will come right off as will the glue as it's just a tiny little bit needed and then I'll flip it around and measure for the other side. Uh, here we have the wire. Now from my studies online I've discovered that you will need approximately 72 feet to do a standard coil. This was the largest ring they had. And I have not been able to get through a uh, warehouse shipper of this type of wire yet. So I'm going to try with this uh, magnet wire that Radio Shack supplies. It comes in uh, 22 gauge, 26 gauge, and 30 gauge. This is the 22 gauge, and they only give you 40 foot of this, so I do not feel this will be enough. However, with the 75 foot of the 26 gauge, I feel this one will be enough, so this will be what I'll be winding with to begin. Now, as you can see, these spools, they, uh, will just barely fit through here. It's a pretty tight fit. And I wanted to keep this relatively easy. So what I've done is I've wrapped uh, the wire that I've gotten around these wooden dowels. So it'll be much easier to pass through this as I'm weaving the coil. And I also have my magnet here. This will be where the magic happens. Once the coil is wound, I'll be placing the magnet in the center and then uh, charging it. And it will, in theory, produce more energy than it's using. And it also has many other applications. Some of you may well be aware, which include uh, anti-gravity technology. Um, some even call it a dimensional stargate. And if you understand the mathematics behind it, I could definitely see why it would be called that, as it opens a new dimension of thinking. So, when I begin winding, I should have another video. And um, I hope you all will uh, take note and perhaps try to construct your own. Be well.